set up uh, pretty much when the students come in. You'll see that we've got a bunch of bins uh, with jerseys. Their squads will sit down behind each of the bins. Uh, they'll wear those jerseys. I also have um, our iPod, our iPads um, with pieces of tape that color coordinate to their jerseys. Hi, this is Joe Ecker from Cooper Middle School. Um, I'm a PE teacher here. Uh, it's one of the things that we got this year were iPads. We got five different uh, iPads for uh, use through our William Rotary Club. And um, as a result of that, we're trying to implement a bunch of different technology into our program. And uh, one of the things that I've been seeing a lot about are the QR code uh, scavenger hunts. And uh, that's something that I want to implement this year. Um, so I put together, uh, so I've actually put together three scavenger hunts. Um, today was the first day that we actually got to uh, try it out. It looks like uh, things have been going pretty smooth, so I wanted to share with you how I was able to put that together and uh, what I did and what the students, uh, what it looks like. So uh, that will be in video two. This one's just purely an instructional video. If you're thinking about doing a uh, scavenger hunt, uh, QR scavenger hunt, this is probably, uh, this will hopefully be helpful to you. First thing that I want to talk about, um, set up, uh, I got 10 different exercises, pulled them off YouTube. I went to a website called uh, qrstuff.com and uh, I was able to make my own QR codes. Um, with that, I used, uh, I used YouTube to help my students um, uh, watch uh, videos and exercises being performed. Um, and that was kind of the whole purpose of this lesson. It's not just to have a scavenger hunt and be like, hey, this is a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to take it a little bit further. Um, we're trying to teach students like what is a uh, what is a burpee, what is a bodybuilder, uh, what is a star jump, things like that. Uh, things that we use quite frequently in PE. It's the beginning of the school year. Now's a good time to introduce that kind of stuff uh, to our students. So, uh, first thing that I did is, uh, like I said, I went to QR stuff. I uh, got a bunch of exercises that I liked. I actually did about ten of them for this for the indoor uh, scavenger hunt. Um, I put those in one color, uh, I believe black, and, and then I took uh, another color, I made QR codes in uh, like, a, like a pinkish orange or something like that, and uh, those were the actual clues that students were going to come across, so they knew exactly what they were getting each time they did it. Um, if you look on the top of each of my QR codes, before they get to the exercise, it says how many reps you're supposed to do. Um, it might say like uh, five reps, they scan the code and boom pops up purpose. So uh, enough of me talking, let's jump right into the action, okay? All right, so I'm back. I've got my uh, trusted iPad. Uh, it's pretty simple, I kind of just show you what happens. Um, I put on the home screen, there's nothing there except for a camera. Um, they could just tap that camera and as soon as they get the camera opened up, um, all they're gonna do is come over to the, uh, come, they're gonna come over to this QR code. Uh, see the QR code right here? And simply just scan it. And it says right there, what they need to do next is just tap it. It'll open up in Safari, and this will give them the instructions of what's happening. Um, so they will read this out loud with their partners. Um, as you can see, no warm-ups, the objective, the language objective. I'll go through all this um, to make it as simple as we can. Uh, I talk about the boundaries and where they will be running through um, and what's off limits, what's, on, what's, what's appropriate. Um, what are they going to do? Number one, they're going to scan it. Number two, um, they're going to watch the exercise being performed, um, perform the exercises correctly. So they're watching the exercise that's in YouTube. Uh, they're going to perform the exercise correctly with a team for the given number of reps. The video, they will then videotape their group doing this. Um, it's pretty important that they, they do this so that um, I know that they were successful, that they did the exercise in the correct destination that they were supposed to arrive at um, where the QR code was located in the correct uh, sequential order. Um, so that's pretty important. Um, and then um, after they're done doing that, uh, it says here that they're going to rotate members of videoing. Turns out a lot of kids ended up uh, uh, flipping the camera and being able to videotape the entire group instead of just one person holding the camera so everybody was involved all the time. Uh, but otherwise, you just rotate members in the group. So each person videos once or twice. Um, and then here, this says uh, to run two laps around the volleyball court in our North Gym after each uh, time. Um, with that being said, uh, they're going to... QR codes are going to have the exercise name, the video attached to it, and a clue. Um, upon finishing, they would be awarded points. And then the bottom is probably the most important part. It says that they'll be awarded one point. Um, 
I don't know if you could actually see this. Here we go. Um, they'll be awarded one point for each correct video in the correct location. Note videos must be in the correct order or no points will be awarded. So that's that. Um, with that being said, we'll jump into the next one. We'll go tap on camera again. They'll come up here. They'll run their two laps. They'll come back. And there's our next one. Okay, we get this one. They pop open that. And this is our clue. Okay. Um, this says clue where you would go to perform. So let's go where they would go to perform. I believe it's a stage. Okay, we just got to the stage. Um, and what we see up here is a QR code uh, sitting on a, on a um, uh, one of our stands. Um, pretty simple, they go back to our um, camera, come up, they will scan the first one. We get the scan. We jump in here, it goes relatively quick. Um, pretty much what we're going to see as soon as it opens up. Okay, so we're able to see what we're doing here. There's a burpee. Um, this is what it looks like from each uh, angle. Pretty simple. Um, short video. Hit some major high points with it points things like that of what a burpee is um, next thing they're gonna do is they're gonna do the burpees they're gonna video it um, after they're done videoing it um, with their team doing it in unison which is quite important this is kind of a team activity um, they would then jump right back into the next QR code which is going to be the clue so we'll go ahead and um, jump over to the clue I'm going to pull that up. Meanwhile, uh, the students are going to get the clue. They're going to go into the other gym. They're going to run their two laps, and then they're going to um, be figuring out that clue while they're jogging as a group. So it's kind of that team uh, building type of activity. And uh, as we look here, this one says, um, these you are allowed to sit on when fully pushed in, which would be our bleachers, which we talk to them all the time about when we talk about uh, rules and guidelines um, about a week ago when we were going over um, basic procedures through our PowerPoint of, uh, of, uh, PE, or of our PE handbook. So um, they would run their lap, they'd look for the next clue, which would end up being over by the bleachers, and uh, they would repeat the process, uh, rinse and repeat. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's our QR scavenger hunt. Um, at the very end, we would we have a timer going so in the very end, the timer will go off. The kids would sit down in their squads. Uh, they were divided up by squads originally. Um, they were wearing jerseys, so we know uh, who's who and who's got which um, uh, iPad. We also made it very clear that these iPads are to be respected. This is a self-directed. Um, this is a self-directed. Uh, uh, lesson along with something that has that uh, giant piece of being respectful and re uh, a respectful citizen not only to your peers but um, also to our equipment and uh, so far it's been the kids did a really nice job with it and they said they really enjoyed this lesson so hopefully uh, it's something that you guys will be able to use too thanks so real quick, uh, as you're finishing up and you want to make sure that you can assess your students, see what they've actually done for the day, this is a great way to do it. Um, so right when the uh, class is about the end um, or ending, you can collect the iPads and you can uh, look and see what they've done. So in this particular case, since everything was videotaped, they are being held accountable. Um, see what they did in unison. So in this case, it looks like they're doing um, uh, they're doing bodybuilders, eight count bodybuilders. Um, they're doing those in unison. Um, to the prescribed amount of repetitions. Okay, and then we go to the next one, see what they did at the next one. Um, this one's out at our trophy case. This should be ABC push-ups if they did it correctly. And it looks like they did. So you can see how a group does, uh, does it in unison and this would mean that they would get a point for each video that they turned in. So we could jump jump ahead to the next one. All right, you can jump ahead to the next one so you kind of get an, an idea of what's going on here. Looks like they're doing, I think it's like 20 uh, line hops here. Actually they are because you can see 20 reps. And we're in the fitness room right now. All right, so um, you can see how they do that and they get one point each for uh, each video done correctly. Thanks, hope you enjoyed my video, bye-bye.